Hello everyone, I am SV and today we will work with Cinema 4D Redshift Interior. So I have like this scene where you can take it. Go to Chrome and proceed for this site. Free 3D com 3D models living room. You can find like this living room. Here is Russian language, but uh, by this address you can find it. So I just download it, as you can see for a moment it is free, just download and you will get like this uh, uh, folder. So we have this living room. Okay, open this file with your Cinema 4D and you will get like this picture. As you can see it's really not so realistic and today we will try to make some redshift material. So. I don't do not make any modeling, I just download it and today we will work with some modeling. So, um, first of all we are change our re uh, standard render for redshift, okay? And reduce our passes for 32 for a moment, just for increase uh, render time. Uh, okay, so I like to see what we have here. As you can see, we have really, really many, many some files and we will check. Okay, this is some camera setup. Maybe for a moment we will keep this camera or we will leave only one camera. We will see. So, now a little bit clean. I no need some cameras. Okay, we will see. Yeah, maybe I will keep camera number one. Okay. We have one camera. What next? Uh, light. Let's check where is we have these lights. And what kind of light we have. Mm -hmm. Okay, looks like I have one light from window and some background light. I think we will delete this light. We don't need it. Just remove all lights. Not any more light. Very good. Because we will put our light. So try to render with Redshift. Use IPR. Uh, and by the way, this tutorial without any preparation. I just download a few minutes ago this file. And everything I will do online together with you. So, okay, like this we have picture. Very nice. Uh, to receive more interesting results. Uh, Proceed please for redshift settings, go to integration and default light, as you can see here, just disable. Okay, and now should be, why it's, why it's not coming, because I think somewhere still we have light, yeah? Okay, yeah, something like that. Uh, good, good, good. So now we will continue to check what we have. Some cubes. I don't know what is this. It's some kind of glass. What inside in hyperlink? Aha, uh -huh. okay. This is like a ceramic, you see. Uh, also, some kind of. It's wood. Oh, very good. We have some name of this material. So. Um, mm -hmm, very nice. Okay, uh, I have a um, Redshift version, I not really, I not remember. Cinema 4D, I have version R20, but my Redshift, I have version 2636, like this, and still it's okay. So I have two video adapters, GeForce 980M, two in slice system. Okay, render one more time and check what I get. I get like this. Okay, now we will try to put some light. So I will go to Redshift Light and I will create a area light. Very good, I have area light. Now I try to turn it, make like this and pick up somewhere on top. close to there, something like that, okay? So render and check. We, mm -hmm. something, something strange. I think our walls, my wall give me some additional illumination. 
we will see luminance yeah why i don't know so try to reduce and check again why all of them have illumination i don't know mm -hmm. very strange but doesn't matter now we will reduce just to check what we get Mm -hmm. uh, so like this you can download any 3d interior from internet and make some self-training before your oven model okay now we will reduce all luminance and check now yeah so uh, now all my materials haven't any illumination and as you can see we already have redshift rendering which is okay it's not a physic accurate but anyway we already have something so we are going for area light and just increase uh multiplay mm, multiplayer or something for five uh very nice very nice and i also increase a little bit my samples maybe for 32 just to receive more or less clean picture very good okay uh for final render uh we will use our gi maybe i will use a brute force okay and 512 just to reduce uh, samples okay render will be a little bit longer but this we will use for final render it's like a global illumination simulation let's say okay very good as you know usually inside internet you cannot find too much tutorials with redshift interior why because uh, redshift is not physical accurate render to receive a more or less nice result you have to lose too much time okay what we will do now uh, you have let's say two options or you will create all materials by yourself and then replace it or you get like this option so first of all we are select all materials then we are going for create going for redshift and as you can see you have conversion these options okay now you have many different options and we will use uh, convert and replace all materials okay all these materials automatically will make convertation for uh, redshift and automatical replacement in this area so we will use it but it's not give for us a good result so anyway we have to play later manually convert and replace now we have to wait a little bit as you can see now coming some magic and coming already redshift materials also these materials automatically replace it in this area okay looks like done and try render again and now we will see a different first of all our render coming more faster yeah because uh with redshift materials for redshift render it's more faster and more easy to calculate so um what we will do what we will do i will try to reduce and render now now will be black screen okay very good and if you are turn back this default light okay anyway you cannot see nothing because it's the default light coming from somewhere okay again and maybe i will increase for 10 just to receive more bright picture maybe 20 okay for a moment i'll keep like this so uh, let's start one by one first of all we are going for glass open glass and check how redshift makes this convert so first of all uh we no need any weight for glass we no need any weight so it should be zero for my reflection we will use one okay i wear 1.5 okay we can keep it refraction we will use also one samples you see as you can see for refraction samples it use one we will increase for 16 for a moment later we will see just to reduce the noise I wear something like that. Subscattering we haven't. 
coating, finish. So we are finished work with this. Also, we can change for black color. Okay, very good. So glass finish. Next, it's metal. Open and check shader graph. What we have? We have some bump shaders, some kind of noise. Uh, I like to change these shaders. Just moment, give me to check. It is bump, then going for bump map, then going here. And also some shaders, texture, color. So first of all, I like to see where is this material. Just a moment, as I remember, right click and uh, give me to remember texture channel. No, no, no. Take manager. If you remember, please comment me because I am not so professional with this, but find first active material, maybe this. And why I cannot see it? No, negative. I not remember how to check. Edit, apply, select materials on active find first. Maybe this? No? No. Okay, you see, I forget it. Really forget. Now we will see. Maybe I will find no. Somewhere here. No. Where is this material? Well, good question, yeah? Maybe it's not here? Very strange. It, it is really very strange because I cannot see this material. I cannot see this material. Okay, so what I will do, I will make uh, remove unused material, okay? Remove unused material, okay. You see? Uh, so it was created uh, really too much materials and some of them was not used. Okay, so we will check again. This material still, uh -huh. it's floor, yeah? No, it's not floor. So for sure it should be somewhere. Give me one second, please. Sorry for this delay. Maybe this tutorial will be a little bit longer. But I hope you will get some good information from this tutorial. Work with some materials. Because uh, in my comments, sometimes I receive some question about how to create some. Okay, yeah, we are found. This is sphere. This is small sphere and we have this material. So um, let's render and check what is this and for what we have it. It's really very small. Um, so anyway, we will work. So first of all, I will take out this camera and I'm going more closer for the sphere. And now we will try to render the sphere. Uh, very strange, but doesn't matter. Okay, we will work with material. First of all, I no need any of these shaders. I will take out. Uh, just by the way, we have noise and we have some kind of gradient, yeah? So how to create it? Uh, first of all, we create this gradient only by redshift. Uh, I'll go for um, textures. No, 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 negative. Yeah, textures. And I will use a um, ramp and noise, okay? Both of them. So inside in the ramp, what I need, I need to put this here, like this, okay, just to see how it's going. As you can see, I have ramp from black to white. Here you can take out auto, you will you can use UV map, okay, and 
as you can see you can play like this okay and noise so now apply noise for output going for noise use i don't know maybe maybe turbulence okay and increase for one no for two okay cell no fractal okay i will use fractal uh let's check here here we have less so going and increase maybe for three okay very good so now i have this mixed together with this for this reason we can use a color mm, let's say color composite as i remember it's color composite so base color and blend color check how it's going and check average and if i increase the noise you see yeah what we get it will be nice maybe a little bit more something like that okay very good so we are make this uh, cinema 4d shader okay and now we are make also this shader so it will be really very simple we are just going for noise uh, I think I will use also fractal and increase maybe for 0 0.5 just to check how it will be okay something like that it's enough so for what I needed uh, any nodes from redshift will make more fast render than any nodes from outside like cinema 4d shader and something like that it's my personal testing and okay maybe you will get some other result but as for me more better to use everything only from redshift lights materials textures noise everything from redshift in this way your render will be more faster so what we have this they use for uh, diffuse color and I don't like it I don't like it why because we are like to use material so what's the problem I try to show you uh, if this I will use for diffuse color and this I will use for bump map okay yeah this tutorial I think not from beginner not for guys who just start work because I push so fast okay what what is the different now i will try to render and i will show you some result here you can see this metal yeah okay i will use uh, some light maybe some small area light where is my table my table is here okay try render i think yeah this is our material yeah as you can see it's not looks like metal completely not like a metal so and now we will try to play so we are going here for my shader graph and uh yeah like this yeah like this we have from our uh, cinema 4d i don't know as for me it's completely not a metal so now i will use a uh, redshift and not so too much different not too much different so first of all i will change my uh, bump map for 0 0.14 like it was here you see also 14 0 0.14 i will change same okay and what i will do now uh, for metal i cannot use diffuse color i take out it and take out from here metal it's all time Fresnel type should be metalness something like that and now for reflectivity I will apply this my color so going here going for reflection and reflectivity okay and as you can see now this looks like more better really like a metal so maybe I will increase a little bit my noise just to receive result i will try to come a little bit closer to receive as much as closer for metal as you can see now it's already looks like metal ball yeah really looks like metal ball 
okay very nice and what i can do for example i will increase little bit roughness or here maybe 0 0.2 as you can see the ball now looks like really like a metal and i have here options metalness so if i increase i will get more dark texture so but anyway if i use a reflectivity i will keep it for zero additionally you can use anisotropic i don't know one or reduce for 0 0.5 0 0.25 we will use 0 0.25 you see this ball now very very looks like metal okay we will keep like this but this ball have now some noise so how to take out this noise uh, you can go here and you will see a samples so samples now 16 look at this if i increase samples just for 32 in twice a noise will be little bit less yeah uh, but additionally Additionally, to reduce uh, this noise, we can use uh, our light. So I will go for this light and increase here also for 32. Look at this. Noise coming a little bit less. This we will do for final hour render. For a moment, we will keep everything on default settings just to increase our, our render time. So this we already no need. And this is our metal. We will keep it here. Very good. So. We don't need any more of this. Oh, we will use this light a little bit later, okay? Uh, just a moment. Okay, you see, it's already metal. So what we have now? We have wood. We have wood. Uh, look at this. I don't know. It's more more like a plastic or I don't know. We have bump, bump shader, layer of the wood, something like that. So uh, to reduce any time for this tutorial, I am going for content browser. I am going for uh, presets just a moment keep it here yeah going for presets and here i can see uh redshift cinema 4d sv folder and here i have some material so where you can find these materials if you go for i don't know for my channel just a moment okay mm yeah c 4d sv okay you're going to my channel and here you can find okay this is unreal engine yeah redshift materials you can find like these materials this is my uh, set for many different materials some wood some glass and really as for me it's really nice and by link you can found description where you can find this material so uh, if you need it, you can download, up to you, but today for my tutorial, I will use this material. So I am going here and I need some wood. I am going for folder wood. And as you can see, I have different types of wood. So I will use this kind of wood. Just double click and I get this material. This material are already here. Uh, so I have this wood and I have this wood. First of all, I like to found where is exactly this wood. So, give me one second. It should be somewhere for sure. But I cannot see it. No. Yeah, you see, it's really very strange because I cannot see. And why? I you remember how to make it? Right click. Mm, remove current. No, take manager. Not edit. Low texture. Texture channel. How to make it? I not remember. Mm -hmm. Here also, yeah, yeah. 
here we have this wood okay yeah. now i will take this my wood which i take uh hold counter on your keyboard and put like this no negative not counter i think alt yeah alt on your keyboard and just overload just overload very good yeah you see it's it's really too much now wood okay we are fine so uh go back to camera where is this camera and render again we already overload three materials okay very good you see metal is looks like real metal what next next we are going for this material uh what is this and what they like to make it by this material we will see again yeah select texture tag object okay now i know so uh what is this and where is it okay let's say it is also kind of black plastic or polished black plastic or something like that we will try to change this material and 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 first of all weights of call maximum reflection maximum uh, and and that's all okay what kind of color we will use i like to use close to black something like that okay and roundness i will use a 0 0.5 too much roundness to receive like this plastic uh, additionally uh, i think i will use some kind of um, some kind of roundness yeah so we are going for texture and we will take from my collection where is my collection of textures somewhere here i hope everybody have similar collection whereas you have many many different textures so i will use uh, i remember inside in the folder of metal where is this folder somewhere downstairs i have many many scratches something like that okay or maybe like that i will use these scratches open and apply the scratches for our material roadness we will try we will try and we will check what we get material roadness so apply and we will get like this we will get like this result and we will see so now we are take out this camera so first of all i like to block this camera to avoid any moving okay go in here and render check you see yeah how it looks like uh, now we have some small scratches and it's really like a use it video going closer and look at this and it's it's really very very interesting as for me uh, so i will keep like this and maybe similar texture i will use also for these speakers we will see uh, then going for this what is this and where we have it select tag okay this is speakers yeah and i think i will use same texture what what is going on negative i delete something i use same texture counter and override for these speakers render and check okay but polygon selection maybe we will reduce the tiles i cannot see any different okay it is inside so going back a little bit for a moment like this i need overload this material Mm 
Mm -hmm. Now it's better. And increase maybe for 10 times. No, it's too much for two times. Okay. So come in closer and check what, what I get. And I don't know, but I don't like it. It's really very strange, but I don't like it. Mm -hmm. It's from top. Video is looks like very nice, but this looks like not so nice. So for this reason, maybe we have to check where is our polygon selection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My polygon selection inside. So and for inside. like they they use a same same result yes but why Okay, now I think I understood where is this material. So we are going here and we will apply this material to this area. This will be five, this will be six. So mm -hmm. like this. Check now, I think it is will be correct. look at this yeah we have some scratches and now I just increase little bit this for maybe five yeah we will see oh no no, no negative uh, 0 0.5 now it's too much so three okay and some net inside so and that inside it is this, this, and this. Okay, we are going for this material and we will see what is the net inside. Shader graph again. So it was my mistake. I not clearly understood what is going on. Texture shader. So delete it and go for our <laughs> let's see how we can make a grid so i think i will use a ramp okay and then i will use a mathematic scholar i will use a multiply multiply by i don't know by 10 okay and then I will use a sign. So if I get like this, look at this, what I get. Come on. Why oh, I cannot see it for a moment? Out or no, I will use UV map. Okay, you see, yeah. And if I use like this, I will get like this result. Why oh, it's not coming for a moment? Ah, okay. I think I have to apply somewhere. We will see. It is inside, yes. So Mm 
why it's not working horizontal It is very strange. So why it's like this? We will see. Cubic. I think I have to apply one cube and apply this material for cube. And we'll check how it's going on with this cube. Yeah, you see on the cube it's working perfectly. But... Okay, I get like this. And what I will use. As you can see, this ramp we have horizontal. I just make a copy paste. And this ramp I will get a vertical. Okay. After that, I'm going for color correct, color, color composite. And I will use this for number one, this for number two, and I will make average. So check now. You see what I get here. Yeah? Uh, it's very simple way how to how you can make like this uh, result. Mm -hmm. UN map, UN map. So very nice. Uh, and similar, I think I will use for bump. I'm going for bump. Apply this for bump. And apply it here also for bump. Only I will use a minus one just to put it inside something like that. Okay, we have like these grids, and here I will use not color. I will use a metalness, metalness, and maybe this I also take out. So, okay, we have like let's say like a speakers, and it's it looks like very nice. So I'll keep like this. Only mine zero point one roadness, just to increase little bit roadness. Uh, very good. Now I have to apply this for my object and to see the result how it will be finally. Uh, okay, we have go for our speakers. Mm -hmm. So. And this we will use like here. Apply, apply, and apply. Check, and I hope now will be good result. I hope. But very strange, but I cannot see. I cannot see good result, and for a moment, really, I don't know why. So, um,. Maybe like this. Okay, something I already can see, but it's not working for a moment. So for this reason, I will try to... Why it's not working? You mapping, yeah? cubic okay yeah we have to apply like a cubic very nice and now i have to increase my tiles maybe four we will see maybe 10 so it's already not so big result two okay i will keep two Okay, and we will change here. We will multiply. How we will multiply? We will multiply for thousand. Thousand. We will see. Will be some different. 
so but if we are multiply for 500 only i like to make some experiment okay additionally as i remember we can use uh, you can use also from scalar or not from scalar constant yeah we can use constant and we can make like this and like this okay and inside constant we can use for example 100 and this will automatically come in here and here you see yeah so thousand check it okay very nice we will keep it we will keep like this so going for camera and check what i get now okay we already get some result uh what next this where is this cannot see uh -huh. i think we already not use it yeah so we are deleted here what is this tv tv and tv screen yes mm -hmm. we have tv and we have some screens so now we will see first of all maybe for tv i will use the same material you remember we are making a really nice material like a let's say like a plastic so i think just give me away give me a second give me a second so tv we will use from this material so first copy and then overwrite wait okay really good and screen this is my screen so we are going for screen and what we will do first of all it will be without any color okay completely black and then we will make 0.1 just little bit made mat so maybe 0.05 yeah something like that something like that and that's all nothing special yeah this we know don't use we no need it just for increase the time for rendering and that's all so going and check again I keep it like this uh, next this material what is this and where we have it oh it's really too much plane just let's check what is this where is this plane or this plane or this plane hmm. very strange because I cannot see Mm -hmm. it looks like it's some kind of background yeah so for this reason we are going here and we are just no color no reflection nothing so for a moment we will keep like this and we will see later what it will be finally uh what else uh glass blue glass uh, you can check my previous tutorial uh, some of the previous tutorial you will found this uh a uh, tutorial about any kind of glasses how to make it and how to receive interesting result so what we have we have transparency shader transparency texture and like this so of course we don't use it we are going for renders and we will check what we get this is my glass yeah so what we use we are take out our color we no need our color yes completely we need full reflection and we need full refraction and inside in refraction we are changing this color for i don't know something like that yeah it was before okay something like that maybe i will use a little bit dark no a little bit dark is too much so a little bit bright okay very good so i'll keep it like this and roughness i will use uh, maybe 0 0.3 just to receive like this result um 
samples. As you can see, it's only one, so we will increase for 32 samples, just to reduce a little bit quantity of noises. We will see. Okay, as you can see, I have this kind of glass. And roundness maybe will be 0 0.1 also, or maybe 0 0.2. Mm -hmm. And also samples we will use a 32. Uh, later we will work with our noises, but for a moment I'll keep like this. Okay, uh, what next? What next? Next we have material number 6. And where is it? Aha, this is already a screen. TV we already use. Uh, wood. I think it is floor, yeah? Texture. Somewhere down, yeah, this is floor and this is some kind of cube, okay, okay, this is wall. So again, I'm going back to my content browser and I will use my folder and I will use a floor, somewhere was a floor. So uh, I like to change floor for maybe this, floor number two, or maybe this, we will see, no. Let's change for this one. Okay, floor number is this and floor number is this. I will use a 2, so on the floor I will put this one, okay, and on the wall I put this one, it is just my choice, I will use like this. Okay, render and check, so first of all I am going and change this for cubic, 1 to 1, and here you can play 2, 2, 3, three maybe like this and floor one one okay render and check so this texture is already with some bump with some coloring why I cannot see a floor for a moment it's a good question uh-huh so maybe I have to use some plane, okay? This plane will be a little bit bigger. Where is this plane I create? Put down. Cre rename this plane like a floor. Apply this material here and floor delete. Okay, render and check. I think now will be a little bit better. Okay, we already have floor. Good, good. And don't forget, still we don't use any light. Don't, uh, still not create any settings of light. So, um, what I don't like? I don't like this glass on the floor. And we will see how we can change it. Okay, this I no need anymore. Okay, what is this? This wood. And where is this wood? Let's check. Mm -hmm. This is our table. For this reason I take my wood which was created before and just copy and overwrite. Okay, we will get like this result. Ceramic. Where is my ceramic? I think it is vase and all these objects. So we are going for ceramic and we will see what we get. Again, we have some bump shader, we have some bump materials, something like that. So we no need it. We are going for ceramic and as I remember also here we can use some ceramic or maybe I have some mistake, but doesn't matter. So how ceramic work? First of all it should be white color, yeah? Like before. Reflection. We are going for reflection and ceramic have a not clean but really good reflection, so we are use 0 0.1. Uh, reflection we haven't. So, uh, usually this is enough. This is enough for use uh, any kind of ceramic. But additionally, I like to use some texture to receive some finger touch. So, I'm going somewhere here. You see? Smudges. Smud smudges some fingers. So, I am use open. And this I will apply for my uh, reflection roughness. Okay? Something like that. And on the ceramic, I will get some touching, and it will be more more natural, okay? Uh, so, render and check what I get. I think it will be more interesting, you see, yeah? 
this is ceramic and this wall also ceramic and I see some very interesting results. Okay, really very nice, but what I don't like, so now I will go a little bit closer for this, for this object and as you can see here I have really hard corner, really hard sharp corner and really I don't like it. So uh, I'm going for ceramic and I like to receive a more, nat uh, more natural corner. So what I will do, somewhere in utilities, as I remember, I have round corners, as you can see, something like that. And if I'm not wrong, this node you can apply directly for bump. Overall bump input without any bumping. And as you can see, my corner coming a little bit more rounded. So radius, let's say increase for two. You see, it's going, it's increasing and give me more interesting result. So maybe I will use a one. Okay, but give me, give me seconds, double check with bump node, if I have to use this bump node or not. But as I remember, it's not necessary, but this is just a check. No, you see, with bump node, it's not working. So you have to apply it directly. You have to apply directly and you will get little bit uh, little bit round corner okay uh, very good so let's render again and check what I get yeah you see it's little bit rounded and already looks like more interesting okay what next uh, let's go to tubis I don't know what is this and let's check where is we have it we have it here and what is this why I cannot see it mm -hmm. it's sofa yeah as I understood it's sofa okay so um, if it's sofa I think we can use just give me one second we can use some skin I have to check my material pack if I have some skin emission oh or we can use some cotton material metal other wood yeah maybe we will use some some kind of skin okay yeah first of all I will put this one down this fabric down or maybe this no I think this one I will keep this fabric and additionally I will create one more material uh, which will be with skin so going for material open uh, take some from internet or somewhere you can download some texture of skin I have somewhere in my folder textures and uh, in Russian it's koja in English it's skin so you can see a many many different skins and let's check what we will use maybe like this yeah or gray or maybe we will use gray it will be more interesting okay apply the skin and what we will use first of all we are take color correction apply here reduce all saturation and this is will be already our bump going for utilities bump input and bump map apply like texture and apply here like a bump okay very good we will see will be some result okay we already get some result after that similar we will use for our reflection reflection roughness very nice and we will use this for our color diffuse color so one texture we will use for different types and bump I think I will use just little bit maybe 0 0.2 only for receive like this result okay more or less this is like a skin maybe maybe for our roughness for our weights I will use 0 0.5 only just to receive not too much uh, not too much specular something like that okay this will be skin 
and uh, let's go back and check what we use uh, first of all we are used to this one and check where is we have it okay this is here what is this this is pillows what is this this is some kind of door so for pillows we will use this one we are take and we are override okay and for skin we will use this one override okay now we are going for my materials and play and render let's check what we get okay as you can see we have skin and we have some cottons and looks like very nice but i don't like so too much reflection from skin it's really too much reflection uh, for this reason we are going for skin and we are reduce our reflection maybe for 0 0.2 only okay now it looks like more interesting still we have some reflection but it's already not so too much okay uh final give me please one second so i like to see what is this and how we can touch it i like to change this floor and why i cannot select it i don't know why i cannot select it cube okay we have cube and where is this cube cube 13. Uh, i like to change this material first of all delete it go for this cube delete it i don't need it so before delete i will use uh, some plane okay apply this plane somewhere here reduce 200 150 something like that and 200 okay reduce it so now we can delete this plane 13 we don't need it anymore and this plane we are pick up for one centimeters from a floor just let me to check okay one centimeter and inside this plane for this plane we will apply our here object at here okay it's really too much so i will take out a little bit for 10 only no maybe for two just little bit segments i no need i will use uh, maybe only four segments here five thousand maybe will be ten thousand or no for a moment i'll keep five thousand but i will use some cloning maybe for two only and inside in this material i will use a fizz and kit and color color so lens so with variation sickness doesn't matter color i like to use from gray to white okay something like that so going back to my camera view and check what i get wait a little bit okay Yeah, very nice. Now we are a little bit increase a uh, size. Not to maybe five centimeter. Okay, you see yeah what is going on. Very good. So going a little bit closer and check how it will be here with this top view wait a little bit yeah i really like it really like it looks like very nice so maybe i just what i have to do i'm going i have to go to for cloning where is this here cloning and i think i have to reduce little bit 
here to avoid any outside of this here you see now it all all hairs will be inside in my uh my object so and for this object i will use the same cotton yeah i'm going here and i will use cotton yeah something like that for this reason color which color started i will use like this okay wait a little bit yeah so I'll keep like this it will be enough okay so now we have to start work with light for a moment I will uh, change all material ah no last materials remaining what is this let's check I not understood what is this and for what we need it I come on mm -hmm. maybe it's some kind of background yeah maybe some kind of background so what we have to do good question it's kind of door so maybe we'll delete it and delete these materials go to content browser mm, give me to remember somewhere i saw a door maybe it's inside visualization really i not remember bedroom buildings no electronics garnet no no somewhere was some doors but really i not remember very so maybe we don't use the doors for a moment just to just to reduce time of this tutorial anyway it's tutorial already so long okay uh, let's start to work with lights let's start to work with lights so first of all we are apply yeah I like to render again and check what we get mm -hmm. here we have a window so we will use this light for a window delete this light delete this light now I no need this camera where is this block yeah okay where is window somewhere here we have a window okay yeah so going light area light pick up and turn okay and now put this light somewhere behind the window <laughs> I cannot see exactly where is my window. Mm -hmm. So looks like this windows is so really big. For this reason, for, for setup light, we have to make a visible. Okay check a little bit why I cannot see mm -hmm. so behind we have a glass uh, for this reason we don't use area light we will use our infinity light okay we will try to use infinity light so going out little bit not so good modeling as for me very difficult to work with this one but let me check what we have what we can to do okay so infinity light take it and turn 
like this, 100, like this, this we no need. Come on. Why I cannot delete it? Where is this plane? And why I cannot delete it? Okay, now I can. This we will move. Something like that. Okay. So now we are going for camera and we will try to render. Yeah. You see, infinity lights, this is like a simulation from sunlight. Uh, where is my infinity light? We will turn a little bit more, a little bit down, something like that. And maybe we will move something like that to receive light here. Okay. Look at this. We will get like this result. Okay, very nice. So we are going for infinity light and first of all change the temperature for 3500. This is like a sun. Sunshine. Okay. After that we are going for volume and make it 0 0.1. Going for redshift and apply redshift environment. Mm -hmm. You see what is going on and here will be also 0 0.1 just to receive little bit little bit light uh, very nice what else additionally additionally maybe we will use some lights also inside our object so for this reason i will use spotlight okay Something like that. Somewhere here will be some additional lights. We don't know exactly where is it. But somewhere here. And just give me to remember. I think we can use. Photon project. No. It's not here. It's my mistake. Sorry. Okay. Mm-hmm. And just a little bit decrease because it's really too much. Something like that, okay? Maybe also we will use a slide and turn. Okay, something like this. And reduce more. Okay, very good. So what is this? Uh, this I like also to make a white color. Just moment, stop. This is cube, yeah. I like also make a ceramic, something like that. So render and check to receive white color here. Yeah. Like this will be more interesting. And behind this I will use also this wall. Where is this wall? This cube. Copy. Make 90 degree. And put it behind. Mm 
behind and something like that okay this I really don't like okay and let's check what we can do with our first of all we are going for environment and gi you see is zero so we are okay uh for what we needed if i'm going for gi render look at this and make it brute force i get additional lights almost everywhere uh, render is coming a little bit longer but what i get additionally i can use gi something about 0 0.25 to receive also illumination from our fog or i can use one let's check one So render taking long time now, doesn't matter. Um, maybe I will use a 0 0.75 just to decrease little bit light to make it more dark. Okay, so now let's start to render and check what I get. Uh, 1920, 1080, okay, and 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 then system bucket render we will use a maximum so uh let's make a first render and check what i get again this is tutorial not about very photorealistic interior this is tutorial about some kind of materials and really primitive lighting system for any interior if you like to use some additional um, options how to Oh, you see here I have some green I, I will delete it later how to use some additional settings for light or something like this you can check some of my other tutorials with lighting inside interior uh, let's wait a little bit and we will see what we can change okay so render completed is taking about three minutes 25 seconds so what I don't like first of all I like to check what is a green line here then i don't like a noise of my table as you can see if i'm increased so too much noise of my table and i don't like a skin material of my sofa it looks like very very not so realistic uh, i very like a floor uh, very interesting wood uh, but i think i have to decrease a little bit a texture because it's really very huge uh, amount of wood so little bit take out so carpet is really really very nice and 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 i like to add one more light here so will be total four lights uh okay let's check what we can do first of all i like to check i like to check my materials here so i'm going for skin Even mapping, okay, going here, texture and scale. I will decrease for 0 0.25, 0 0.25. Yeah, I have to increase or decrease. No, I have to increase in two times. So maybe I will increase in five times. We will see what we will get okay what else uh here somewhere should be green material and now we will see how we can take out it and where is it mm -hmm. it is you see okay very good
very nice so this a little bit pick up something like that okay two I will use a four four and same I will do for this yeah very nice what else carpet really very nice and one more light I will apply one more light so take one more light and you move somewhere here okay very good very good so let's try to render again but additionally additionally I think I will use um, let's check just a moment so first of all I take our GI just to increase a render time and I like to use also some kind of post affix so I will use a loot I have many different loots whereas I have this loot just to remember me I think here yeah I have a loot packing really too much okay good okay something like that and loose trench I will use only 0 0.5 just for half uh, what else I will use a bloom just something like that I'll use a flare just a little bit and 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 I think that's all photorealistic exposure okay so try render again and ah yeah I forget to use this one yeah so going here um, maybe I will use 64 and here for 64 or maybe 1 to 8 okay now we are going for my redshift light and explosion very good so basic increase for 64 and 16 so render and check again so render completed as you can see I already have some post-production and it's taken for four minutes so what I get here uh, some green line big texture too much noise on the table and I don't like skin of sofa now I get like this and it's already for me more interesting but uh, now I like work a little bit with camera so uh, I like to add some dust effect and some camera effect so what we will do uh, we are create uh, let's say what we will create we will create some disk okay something like that we can get some disk this disk will be really a small size for one only okay now we are going for MoGraph cloner and apply this disk for a cloner yeah very good here we will use multi instance something like that so multi instance and grid array okay we will use a 10 10 10 so we have a really too much look at this just a moment I cannot take it mm 
Mm -hmm. Very good. So, and I will increase it 400, 400, 400, something like that. Maybe eight to avoid. So, something like that. What else? Now I'm going for this cloner and I will apply MoGraph Effector with name random. Okay. Inside random you can use a turbulence and if you will play it it will move. You see something like that. Yes, we will use animation speed one, scale one only. So it will move very, very slow, like inside. Okay, inside random we will use some parameters. So first of all, uh, I will use some scale. Scale will be 0 0.5, so some will be bigger, some smaller, and I will use a rotation. 360, 360, 360. So to avoid any randomize so something like that. Very good. Um, cloner, just a little bit turn here. Okay, going back to camera and apply for our camera tag with name a redshift camera tag. Okay, bokeh. First of all, enable bokeh. Uh, camera, where I like to make a focus. I think I will make a focus on this table. Something like that. Yeah, very good. And cloner. Give me one second. Where is my camera? My camera is here. It's far away. So I like to use this. Object. No, negative 400. No, this will be 400 and this will be 800, yeah? Yeah, something like that. So I will move it here close to the camera. So some will be very close, some will be very far. Okay, okay. And this disk I will use a 0 0.5 only, just very, very small. Okay, so let's try to render again and we will see a different. Okay, so finish it. One more render. As you can see, we have some kind of dust. Um, I think I have to reduce a little bit color of this dust or maybe size of this dust or just take out it and increase a little bit blur effect. So we will do a last render and this tutorial finish it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for my channel and see you next time. Goodbye, friends.
придется немного вернуться назад, чтобы активировать чекпоинт. Но еще останетесь без платформы вот здесь. Поэтому сдаем обратно, и вот спереди появилась стена. Мы ждем еще один ледяной кубик, который закидываем сюда. Как говорится, взболтать, но не смешивать. Коктейльчик бомба просто дверь выносит. Теперь внизу нас уже ждет платформа и снеговик. Оба пригодятся. На первой скачем, а второй выносит еще одну.